be talking about identifying and using the focus of the parabola. And this is day one. I split it into two different days. So first off, what I'm going to do is uh, let's look at this diagram. This is our parabola that we've seen before. But now we have a few extra components. We have the focus, which is inside the parabola. And it lies on the axis of symmetry as does the vertex. And the vertex is special because it lies halfway in between the focus and the directrix. And now the directrix is a line that's perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. And if we look at this diagram, we can notice if we take the point of the focus and a point on the parabola, and then a point from the parabola to the directrix, those measurements are going to be equal. And we're going to use this information to write an equation of a parabola. So the first one says, use the distance formula to write an equation of the parabola. I give you the focus and I give you the directrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch. I'm going to sketch this out just really quickly. Okay, the focus is at 0, negative 7. And the directrix is at y equals 7, OK? So now we know that the parabola is going to be opening down, but we need to know where the vertex is. Well, if we know that the vertex is halfway in between the directrix and the focus, and the directrix is, directrix is at 7 and the focus is at negative 7, then we know the vertex is at 0, 0. So we can draw this parabola opening down. And now we've got our sketch. So what we're going to do is we have a point on the focus, or we have the focus. And we're going to draw a point on the parabola. Now we don't know what this point is, so we're going to name it x, y. Okay? And so we have this segment. And then we're going to take the point on the parabola and go to the directrix. And we don't know what the x value is, but we do know that the y value is 7 for that one. And if we remember from the diagram before, we know that these two segments are equal. So we can say that fp is equal to pd. We know that those are equal to each other. Okay? And we can use that piece of information to write an equation of this parabola. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the distance formula. All right, so let's, let's refresh our memory on the distance formula. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared equals, and we're just going to do the distance formula again on the other side for the other line segment. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the points for FP and PD. So F is at 0, negative 7. P is XY. We're going to do P again, which is XY, and D, which is X, comma, 7. Okay, and I write down these points because we have to be able to label them and plug them into the distance formula. Okay, and we can set these equal because those two pieces are equal. So let's uh, label X sub 1, Y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2, same for the other, other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these in and I'm going to start simplifying and you're going to see where we develop this, this equation from. Okay, so we have the square root of x sub 2, x minus 0 squared plus y plus 7 squared. Now I've got the other side, x sub 2, x minus x squared plus 7 minus y squared. Okay, so I've plugged this into the distance formula. Now what we can do to simplify this is we actually can square both sides and that will cancel out and so we no longer have that square root symbol. So we now can just write this as x minus 0 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals x minus x squared plus 7 minus y squared. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to simplify and multiply everything out. x minus 0 is x, so that becomes x squared. And now don't forget, y plus 7 squared is actually y plus 7 times y plus 7. We're squaring this binomial. Do not distribute out that squared. We have to do y plus 7 times y plus 7, which is y squared plus 14y plus 49. 
x minus x is 0, so that cancels out. And then we have 49 minus 14y plus y squared. Now we can start subtracting. If we subtract y squared on both sides, they actually cancel. If we subtract the 49 on both sides, they cancel, so we end up with, oh, and then we can subtract the 14y. So we have x squared equals negative 28y. Now, when we have an equation, we uh, get the y by itself because we have y squared.